My name is Alexis Kirk and I'm going to give you a quick overview of the cloud chamber composition and the apparatus we're using. It's a composition for violin and subatomic particles. If you look uh, just to the left of the middle of the picture, you can see cosmic rays going through the cloud chamber, which is a special piece of apparatus to make subatomic particles visible. The rays are made visible by the supersaturated conditions. Underneath the chamber, you can see the ice there. That's being cooled by liquid nitrogen. And within the chamber is 90% um, pure ethanol. So how do we turn this into music? Well, if you look above the chamber, you can see there's a digital camera. And this camera is linked by Firewire into a piece of software we've developed here at the ICCMR and it's called the Cloud Catcher. You can see a very rough picture of it there. To the left you can actually see the representation of the subatomic particles at the bottom. To the right you can see a flickering image which is the um, violin music, simulated violin music I'm using for testing. Obviously on the night of the performance there'll be a real violinist. And what's happening is the system is trying to capture some of the subatomic particle lines going through on the left of the screen and turn them into synthesized sound. So we will have a violin accompanied by synthesized sound and the synthesized sound will be generated by the subatomic particles. Now if we look a bit closer here at what's going on we can actually listen to some of the sound so as I say this is very simple at the moment it's a three note violin simulation I put in now if you if we just look at the um, subatomic screen here and then we turn up the sound you can hear the violin, but what you can also hear are some bassy clicks. Now, if you watch where the particles appear on the screen and listen to the bassy clicks, you'll see that the two are actually synchronized. It captures maybe 50% of the subatomic tracks and turns them into sound. So this is, this is the basic idea behind Cloud Chamber, the composition. Um, and there is one other element that we have as well, which is um, the actual density of particles in the Cloud Chamber itself will be controllable by the violin player. They will play into this box and based on the amount of violin sound going into the box it will adjust the intensity of the particle tracks within the cloud chamber. So the violinist's sound will actually have an impact upon the subatomic particles that you can see here or at least upon the ionic tracks that they create thus influencing the music that is generated by these tracks and which the violinist can react to within my composition.